Hello, and welcome to our learning time today. Are you ready to get reading and writing? Today, we are going to do a review of our decoding and spelling. Materials. Today, we will be doing some writing. So go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil. We have just two learning targets today. The first is, I can read silly vowel consonant and consonant vowel consonant words. And the second learning target is, I can spell vowel consonant, consonant vowel consonant, and high frequency words. Transition song. Gather round together, together, together. Gather round together to read silly words. They may sound a little strange, strange, strange. They may sound a little strange cause that's how they're arranged. We are going to practice reading some words, but they're not just any words, they are silly words. You're going to see some words that you won't recognize. But that's okay, because we can use what we know about letters and sounds to decode or read these silly words. Take a peek at our first word. Hmm, I don't recognize that word at all. But I noticed that the word has two letters, A, P, that I've seen in some other words, like the word tap. Hmm, <sighs> a, p, hap, that's it. Do you see how I used what I know about letters and sounds to decode this silly word? Let's do another one together. Take a look at this word. Hmm, what do you notice about this word? That's right, it has an ending chunk that you know. Let's decode this word together by tapping out each sound. P, a, p. Blend it together, pap. Great job reading those silly words. Transition song. Now let's all spell words, spell words, spell words. Now let's all spell words in ways that we know. It's time to be silly, to be silly, to be silly. It's time to show how silly we can be when we spell. We just practiced reading silly words. Now we're going to spell silly words. We're going to do this by using any kind of voice that you want. Here is our first word. When I look at that word, I'm going to say the name of each letter to spell it. T-A-P. That's kind of my boring normal voice. But what if I try to spell it in my robot voice? T-A-P. Or I can spell this word with my opera voice, T-A-P, or even like a chicken, T-A-P. Let's go ahead and spell this word together and you can use any voice you like. Are you ready? Let's go. That's right, T-A-P. Let's do another one together. Take a look at this word. This is one you've seen this week. Think about what kind of voice you want to spell this word in. Hmm, I'm going to use my robot voice. I can't wait to hear what you choose. Are you ready? Let's say the name of the letters. H, A, T. <laughs> Thanks for being silly and spelling these words with me. Song. 
It's time to spell and decode to show what we're learning. It's time to spell and decode to show what we've learned. Fluency. Okay, it's time to decode some words. I'm going to show you some words on the screen and I want you to try to decode them. It's okay if they are still a little tricky. We're working to read them this year. When I show you a word, do your best to decode the word. You can tap it out if that's a helpful strategy for you. Okay, get ready for our first one. Mm-hmm, that word is cap. Here is our next one. That's right, pat. Here comes our third word. Mm-hmm, ram. That's right, this word is rag. Here is our last word for today. Mm-hmm, vans. Great job, you did awesome work. Writing. For our last activity, I am going to give you a list of words that we've been working to read and write this week. I want you to write down the word on your piece of paper. Take your time and you can tap out and segment the word so that you can hear each sound and write the letter that matches. Here we go. The first word is tap. I tap my foot to the music. Tap. Our second word is sag. There is a sag in my bed, so it isn't comfy. Sag. Our third word is ham. The ham I had for dinner was delicious. Ham. The next word is that. That is a seriously cool shirt. That. And finally, the last word is maps. I used maps to help me travel around the world. Wonderful work. Let's take a peek at the words and see how you did. How did you do? If you got any of them wrong, take a look at what letter you missed. Was it a letter at the beginning of the word? Was it the final sound? Or was it that short vowel A in the middle? There was also that tricky word with the digraph th in the word that. Think about what challenges you had and that way we can keep working on it. Closing reflection. Wow, today we reviewed the skills that we've been working on throughout this cycle. That includes matching letters and sounds, blending and separating sounds to read and write, and learning new words. 
We even did a little self-assessment to see what we need to keep working on. What do you want to work on from this cycle as we continue our work together? I know that I want to keep working on holding those high frequency words in my head. I'm going to keep practicing that when we continue our work in the next cycle. Learners, you should be so proud of yourselves. I can't wait to continue our work in our next lesson.